Hey, how's it going, folks? My name is Rojo, and welcome back to Prey. When we last left off, we were uh, down here, or I guess rather up here in the Arboretum area. I did do some looting, and I went and uh, and uh, picked all the fruit and everything that was around the area. So we have um, 22 bananas, which is pretty good, <laughs> and a bunch more food stashed away. I also went ahead and made a couple things. Most notably, I made a Neuromod, because uh, we had seven, and uh, I just picked up Hacking uh, four. So we are all set as far as Hacking goes for the rest of the game, I think. Uh, but we have no Neuromods left. I think next, I don't know, probably... Mm, probably something combat-oriented is what we'll get next. But we'll see. For now, actually, we, we want to go this way. I, uh, I noticed while I was looking around, we got... A um uh, a quest marker for where those uh, those turrets are. So I'm thinking, let's definitely check this out. I didn't find any alarm things to uh, try and bust open either. So uh, we'll have to keep our eye out for those bench black. Given by William U. May twenty third. Is that our dad? Oh. Well, now we have another Neuromod. Oh, sorry. Very sorry about this. Oh! <laughs> uh, greenhouse checklist. Check phosphate levels of plants in quad 2. Reduce sprinkler cycle by 5 minutes. See if Dr. Howard's experimental plants need water. Dr. Howard changed the greenhouse password to Xenopod 1. I don't think we need that anymore. <laughs> another apple, some bullets. Um... Is there anything we want to use this upgrade kit on? Upgrade. Uh, we can increase the number of shots. We increase the recharge rate. I think that's probably an acceptable use of this upgrade kit. All right. Is there anything I already get in there, I think. All right. Let's uh, keep cruising up this way and see if we can find... Actually, let me let me just check check in here one more one more second. Uh, okay, just wanted to make sure there wasn't an alarm on the wall. <laughs> That's all. All right, we'll come up here. We'll check out this situation here. We should be able to get in here without any issue. It's uh, what's hacking for? Two four zero three five, and we're in. All right, Q-beam cells, we've got another weapon upgrade kit. Got a couple silenced pistols in here, I guess we'll take those. And uh, a couple more turrets as well. Oh, and a shotgun. And uh, what else we got? Some glue ammo isn't pretty good. I think that's going to do it. All right, let's um let's set up these turrets somewhere. I guess one of them can go maybe right down here somewhere. Deploying. And we might as well put another one. I don't know, like right here somewhere? Why not? And I think that was the, uh... Those were the only two that we're going to get in here. That's fine, though. This place has actually got a lot of turrets in a small area. Guess we'll grab these. We may as well. Oh, there we go. Grab those. So we want to get up there, but deep storage is over that way. There's definitely some Typhon around here somewhere I can hear. Where does this go? The bridge and do not enter. Um, 
Uh, let's let's check it out. Why not? Where the hell is this? <laughs> oh, good, another banana. Just what we needed. Oh, okay, like the bridge of the space station. I got you, okay. Um, we will not be going there just yet. We still have plenty to do in this area, so we may as well stick around for a little bit longer. All right. So somewhere around here, we're going to find some noobs. Oh, I, uh, I used a couple armor repair kits, but I guess I didn't need to. Because hack this bad boy. And uh, let one of these guys out, maybe. Well, I guess we don't need to do it right now, but we'll uh, remember that it's here at the uh, the very least. Ooh, there we go. Go a little bit around. And there we go. Not bad. Okay, so. Oh, I just saw something in my... <laughs> Good evening, oh, Tyler. right there. Dr. Hadley Dalton will deliver a supplemental <laughs> seminar on neural connectomes in the lobby. Get a thermal phantom. Weak to psychic, and immune to fire. Space is limited, so reserve your seat by emailing Dr. Dalton. Come on. Let's scan this fucking guy. Let's go. There we go. We've almost uh, fully scaled these guys, or scaled, fully scanned these guys. Um, how do we want to handle this? I'm thinking this is an opportunity to maybe use one of these guys. Along with one of these guys. I'm guessing that's a, uh... I don't know where he went. I'm guessing that uh, the glue cannon might be good against those guys, because uh, it puts out fire, and so in theory, it would put them out too. Not 100% uh, sure about that. I wonder if... One of our turrets got this other guy. He's not showing up on uh, on the old radar, and I don't think I killed him. Maybe I did. Honestly, not not sure. Oh no, I guess I did. I guess I did get him. Probably. Yeah, I guess I must have. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can. Maybe fix this guy up as well. Hacking four. Very well. I, not that we need it. I'm pretty sure we could get up there on our own, but... But, uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Alex's Grav Shaft. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Plenty of time. Cool. So now we can uh, we can get up here if we so choose. I'm not gonna go up there just yet. It looks like we can go down to deep storage from here as well. Let's uh, just pop down here and see if we find anything. So yeah, I was expecting to find a door. And we've got the uh, the airlock here too, which is nice. Cool. Blue Ford is nice. What is it? How's it coming? And uh some kind of treasure map. I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. 
Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? All right, well, that's something. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Pack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Hmm, all right, fair enough. So we're not getting into deep storage anytime soon. We might want to go outside and just take a look at space. Um... How much more of this do we have left to explore, I wonder? I think I'm missing some stuff over there. I'll tell you what, we'll uh, we'll check out space later. For now, let's just stay indoors and see what else we can do while we're in here. Guess we might as well pop up here. Definitely his office. He doesn't seem to be home, though. Just taking a look for uh, alarm bells and all that kind of thing. Doesn't seem like anybody's around here at all, actually. <laughs> not even uh, not even a stray mimic. Not that uh, not that I'm complaining exactly. I'm just saying. Would have expected something to be going on up here, other than nothing. Just checking out the moon, huh? Fair enough. All right. Well, can't pick any of these plants, so I guess we'll uh, just go into the office and see if uh, we can't get some nice stuff. You used to sneak into my room when we were kids, hack into my computer. I still remember when you ruined my Galactic and Keystone save files. <laughs> I broke your arm when I found out. I regret that now. But I'm still not fond of you messing with my stuff. We should really take this tracker off ourselves. People uh, don't need to know where we are. In fact, if we took it off, wouldn't the nightmare not be able to find us anymore? Just a thought. All right. I can't read that, but maybe one of you guys can. <laughs> This looks like I was going to say, yeah, it looks like there's a maintenance, maintenance shaft here. Which we can open, but we can't get through there without spending some neuromods or using a recycler charge, which we might do since we have so many at the moment. We'll definitely take that. What is this? It's been a weird crystal formation thingy. And a weapon upgrade kit. Pretty good. I think we can actually... Can we use that on uh, this guy? We could increase the range. I think I'm going to do that. Because at the present moment, it is extremely short range, so... To have it be just a little bit better is pretty nice.
Alright, I guess uh, we'll just check out what's on his computer now. See, see if he's got any dirt that we can uncover here regarding our current situation. And we actually need Hacking 4 to even look at this because we don't have the password. Alright. Come on. <laughs> ah! There we go. Just gotta thread the needle a few more times here. We might be a little bit tight on time for this one. Oh, we made it. Alright. No sweat. Alright. What have we got here? We've got email files, utilities. I guess we'll start here. Missing key card. Let's see. Sarah needs your help uh, tracking down. We already know about this. Um... Alex, I found it, Neuroma Division, on top of a, of a computer cabinet. It says someone was trying to hide it along with what looks like a bug out bag. Should I be concerned? It's still there. Hmm. Neuroma Division on top of a computer cabinet. Rogue Operator. Oh, wow. Uh, Dr. Yu, I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino, got a response, so bringing the matter to you. Uh,. There is evidence of an unlicensed operator aboard, operator aboard Talos 1. If so, we might be risking another Transstar North incident. I want to ensure the station security or safety, and I made sure IT protocols are enforced. To show, I doubt that any, I doubt, I doubt that accident has any relevance to what you're, you're describing here. If Lorenzo say, says an investigation is unnecessary, I believe him. Uh, Doctor, you an operator follows an owner's commands to, to the letter. Morgan may have built an unlicensed model, and if so, would have access to station protocols. I'll take the matter to the board if I have to, but I won't have Morgan's actions place the station in jeopardy. Are you certain of this? If this operator exists, where would it be? If it's shut down or on standby, it could be anywhere. Do I have permission to begin a search? Looks like we didn't get that far. No subject. Alex, you've made it my duty to keep everyone on this station in good physical condition. The last time I checked, sir, you are part of everyone on this station. By my count, you've missed the past five scheduled fitness tests. If you're uncomfortable with some of the exercises and performing them in front of the crew, I can schedule you time in the fitness center where it's just the two of us. Remember, you wouldn't just be doing this to help yourself but to set an example for the whole staff. From Emma Beatty. And uh, from Matthias Cole, your sibling is indeed different. I've sent the comparisons to you and Bellamy for evaluation. As you'll see, there's a noticeable personality drift more than I'd expect from heavy neuromod cycling. It's even more prominent because of the duration in which these behavior shifts have developed. As requested, I did not discuss this with Morgan. Interestingly, Morgan seems unaware of these shifts. As an aside, I believe this poses interesting questions for other applications of the Neuromod, not solely therapy, but reconditioning. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Files. A fab plan for Neuromods. We Good already evening, have it. Talos. Registration for the Talos Employees Talent Show is now open. See Galen in the crew quarters front desk to reserve a slot. Extending the rooftop bridge, huh? I wonder where that goes. And EP101 is a key, is the key card that's way back down in Neuromods. God, we're going to have to go back there. I don't know. Let's take a look outside and see what we got going on. Uh, ah, okay. What the hell is going on with this? Got a plasma bag. Alex, you tracking bracelet. Suspiciously missing. Neuromod. Is this the escape shuttle? I guess it must be, right? Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go back to Neuromods to uh, to find that key card. Uh, the question is, what do we want to do 
first. Is there anything else for us to even do here? Sort of under the impression that we're pretty well done. Let's take a look at the map and just uh, see what we got going on here. It looks like there's maybe a little bit over there that I haven't checked out. That's pretty much it. All right, so how do we get over to there? We're here. That's the grav lift, I think. I think it's one of these. We just come around. I think we got to go around to the back, maybe, actually. I'm not sure. Not very good at reading this map. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this is where we want to be. Oh, good. The Starbender cycle. Just what I wanted. Ooh, a little framey there. What else have we got? It's like we got a little bit of a path going, uh, going this way. And... Oh, Jesus! Why am I even wasting my, my ammo on this, sh <laughs> this shit? Huh. Uh. Alright, now then. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Holy shit. There's like some kind of area under there too. Have we already been down there? I think we have. Is this whole thing just like a fucking... Not e it's not even really water. Oh my god, it's not even really water? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Okay, well... Yeah, let's see what's at the end of this path, I guess. Carefully. Relaxation area. And a looking glass, like over there. Under construction, huh? But we did find a corpse. Thomas Tucker. Got some stuff. And this is Catherine Hughes Bench. Wonderful. In theory, there should be something behind that, right? We, uh, maybe if we scale the wall, we can get a better look. There's definitely something back here. Looks like this guy is maybe trying to fix this, uh, this breaker. Or this lady. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to worry about fixing this one, but I am going to, uh... Oh. There we go, okay. <laughs> Cooler Fanny MP charge. A key card of some kind. I guess we'll just eat that. Um, we, uh... Organize our inventory. Can we get that wrench? Almost. Just eat that too. Organize again. And we'll take all this stuff. Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. The Golden Gun. Okay. So this is also in crew quarters, which I 
don't know if we can get to yet. Maybe we can. No, it's deep storage that needs the uh, the voice imprint, right? So, yeah, I think we can get to crew quarters from somewhere. Maybe <laughs> I don't remember where exactly. All right, well, no alien material detected. Hello. I guess. Uh, where was that? Yeah, there's crew quarters. Uh, where was the? Way to get to space, I forget. The bridge, maybe it's down here? It is not down here. Let's see here. No, not there. Oh, that's interesting. That goes to guts, but no, that's where we came in originally. I don't know. I'll find it. Here we go. It's by deep storage. That's right. Let's see what we got going on out this airlock. Microgravity detected. So hull breaching crew quarters that maybe we could take care of while we're out here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, wow, yeah, that's a uh it's a serious hull breach. All right, we're going to have to deal with this medical operator real quick by the looks of things. See if we can just glue it real quick. Maybe that's everything. Hard to tell. All right, our inventory is like totally full, huh? Uh, here we go. We'll just eat that. We should be able to take that, take that, and take that. Okay. Sounds like, I was going to say, it sounds like there's a, uh, another operator around here somewhere. <laughs> and we're, what, we're full again already? Um, let's see. What else can we... Oh, there we go. That'll work. Excellent. Oh, let's just... Oh, come back, candy. <laughs> there we go. We'll just eat the candy. <laughs> okay. So this is like a pretty... Well, it's pretty serious. Hull breaches like what happened in a chem lab. Got more of these 
tiny little uh, living space dealies as well. What is this? Is this a... Uh... Nope. That is just a number. Looks like there's some actual medical operators we could summon out here if we really wanted to. Is there anything we can get rid of to take a Petri dish sample? Um, we might be able to use this weapon upgrade kit on something. Like, improving the accuracy of our pistol. Sure, why not? Alright, what do we got going on down this way? These are... Various people's crew quarters. We should take a look in these, I guess. I'm not sure what to expect here, but there's a lot that we were looking for in crew quarters. Even though this, I think, is probably just a small part of it. Some various food items. I'm not super worried about those, though. And no, don't need see anything in there. Looks like, is that another... No, I thought it was a weapon upgrade kit, maybe. Exotic material, mineral material. It's only .04, but I will absolutely take it. I don't think we need to worry about eating any uh, jellied eels at the moment. Don't see anything in there. And I don't see anything in this one either. I guess this is the door that we'd be able to look out in and uh, see all this stuff from. Alright, well. That's cool. I guess, uh, I guess that's everything. I think, anyway. Hard to tell, for, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much else. Maybe over here. Looks like one of the, uh, the pods made it out a little bit, um, a little bit farther than everything else. Let's see if I can clean up some of this riffraff here, but can't even hit anything. Come on. Explode, you bastards. One more. Thank God. All right. Now then, what, uh, where's, where's the, the thing I was looking at? I think it's this one right here. Oh, we have a note in this one. And a Neuromod. Alright, glad I checked. What does this say? Too many drop points. Eddie Voss made too many of those concealed drop points. Every one he installs multiplies our chances of being found out. Cargo Bay I get. We need that one, as well as the one near me in Hardware Labs. Crew quarters make sense as well. Think about it every time I go to the pool now. But putting one in the Arboretum is risky, and putting two in the lobby is just bordering on Super Ah, so this is telling, telling us where all the drop points are. Okay. Cool. So, um, we definitely want to check the Arboretum a little bit more carefully. Looks like there's another one over here, too. Yeah, nothing going on in there. Alright, I think, uh... 
I think we've probably seen everything we need to see. Is this going to be our way back in? I think so. Uh, actually, though, since we want to go back to Neuromods, is it fa it's probably faster just to go through the Arboretum and take the lift, right? Then to go through... Uh, Any of these other airlocks that we may have unlocked. Probably. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, head back inside. And uh, next time when we come back, we'll probably be in the Neuromod Division. I imagine I'll probably have to fight some, some stray phantoms and stuff again just to get there. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find that key card. And then we'll see if we can open up whatever it is. Uh, whatever the EP-101 thing is. It's probably Escape Pod 101, now that I'm thinking about it. And, um... Then after that, I don't know, I guess we have to go... Maybe to, like, actual crew quarters, or we can go to the bridge, too. Uh, that might be interesting. So, uh, yeah, we've got some options. Until next time, though, my name has been Rojo. And thanks for watching.